Hey everybody, Mark from Social Show and Tell, here to help you record narration that's perfectly timed to a video that you're editing in Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD 11. So say you have a video that you're working on, either something that's already completed or one that you have an edit list in progress, and you want to record some narration and you want to sync it to the video. Well, you can easily do that right in your timeline in Vegas um, just by setting up a recording track. And what you can do is you can play back your video and record at the same time so you can record narration that's responding to your video as it plays back. Now, for demonstration purposes here, I'm going to use a video that I've already completed, so I'm just going to take and add to the timeline. This is just a documentary video that I've worked on. And let's say I wanted to add narration, even create like a commentary track that I wanted um, to have in perfect time with what I'm seeing on the screen here. So what you can do is when you set up a new edit list, you have multiple soundtracks that you can work with here. And don't forget, you can also right click and do insert audio track to add more. But right now I'm just gonna use the ones that we already have existing here. I'm going to actually drag the soundtrack for the video down into track six here for sound effects, and we're going to use track four that's already marked for voice. Now, there's a little bit of setup just to kind of make things work best. Now, um, if you go to the options menu and choose preferences, you're going to want to look for the audio device tab. Now, this is where you'll do a little switcheroo just to kind of uh, make it easier to only record your voice track and not get everything that's playing back through your speakers. So instead of the default Microsoft Sound Mapper, we're going to choose Windows Classic Wave Driver. And hit OK. So now what you can do on any of these soundtracks is arm them to record. And it's actually kind of nice because Vegas itself was built on a multi-track audio editing program. So you can actually record multi-track audio, even in Vegas Movie Studio. I think you can record up to 10 tracks of audio simultaneously. And if you have a sound card capable of offering you multiple inputs, you can actually have different things on each track. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna set up a basic microphone for me to speak into and record my narration as we play the video along. So right here, we have our input selector on our track that we're going to use. If you click on that, you see Windows Classic Wave Driver. Wave driver. And here we have microphone USB audio codec. This is coming from our USB sound mixer. Now if you wanted to um, get fancy, you could isolate a specific left or right channel of your microphone, your stereo mix, um, the microphone from the computer sound card, so you could see how you can have multiple things recording at once. But for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to use microphone as is and record a stereo sound file along with our video. So we'll leave that as is. So now we click on this button here in our track to arm it for recording. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the level meter for this track. Now we're not recording yet. We've just armed this track to, uh, to be ready for recording. And now when we see our sound levels, we can adjust the um, volume. We can adjust uh, our pan slider there if we want to, but we'll just leave it as is. So now we're getting good sound input from my microphone. And now if you hit record, you see that our video here is playing back. 
So if you have an edit list that's already built, you don't have to have a preformed video like I have. You can have a whole edit list, and you can just set up one track to be armed for recording. And when you hit record, it's going to play your whole project and be simultaneously recording here. You see it drawing the waveform as we're going along. Now, this is great for making sure that your narration is synced with your picture. If you're doing a video that's demonstrating, you can have someone talking about what's going on in your video. You can record commentary, uh, commentary tracks for a DVD. There's many different uses. You can even just use Vegas straight as a sound recording program. It's an extremely powerful sound recording program, even in the cheap movie studio version of Vegas. Vegas Movie Studio actually gives you a ton of really great pro features from Sony Vegas Pro built in. You just have to kind of be able to go in and look for them. So now what we're going to do when we're all done recording our narration, we'll hit stop. It's going to ask us if we want to save the recorded file. We can rename it, we can delete it and start over if we want to but we're just going to save it as is. So when we hit done, now if we play back, we'll get not only the video or the audio from our pre-produced video, but we'll also get our narration track. And then we can do all sorts of other stuff to it that you can always do here in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. You can go under switches and hit normalize to kind of uh, pump up the level of the audio. Here we have it pretty balanced. Um, you can also, um, under track effects, if you want, click on that, add a plugin, and under all effects, we're going to select Wave Hammer. And what this is going to do, go away. Um, and then this is basically a compression filter. And then if we choose smooth compression, what that's going to do is, let's go make this help thing go away. Um, the compression is going to raise the quieter parts of our audio and tamp down the hotter parts of our audio to kind of make it a little bit more balanced and a little bit more audible. This, of course, is just one of many, many things you can do to your audio in Sony Vegas. Um, so right now, as, it ex as our sound file exists on the timeline, it's synced to our video. Um, what you can do then also is you can kind of lock this soundtrack to a piece, a piece of video. So what you can do is you can select multiple um, uh, files here. Um, so I'm going to hold the control key down and select our video track, um, that video's audio track, and our newly recorded track. If you right click and choose group, you can choose create new, and now if you would move this, our newly recorded take is locked to this picture track so it won't move, it won't lose its sync. Um, even if you were to, to kind of trim the edge of this, it will trim right along with your video. And here you can do anything else to it. You can add a quick fade in, fade out, um, you know, all sorts of things you can do with this. And it's really, really easy with Sony Vegas Movie Studio. For tips like this, visit socialshowandtell.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash socialshowandtell.